exceeded our expectations. It was a, a truly tremendous program for us. Uh, we had set out to you know, drive awareness and, and trial and, and had this kind of lofty goal of becoming uh, the, the number one cereal with Hispanics. Uh, and I'm, I'm thrilled to, to report, as the video also did, that, that during this program, uh, we did tie for that number one share in the Hispanic market. Um, and, and during the final push of the program, when Carlos was, uh, was on radio and in vignettes on TV and, and pushing to, to a sweepstakes that um, allowed uh, uh, the winner to go to a private concert uh, in Miami uh, with John Carlos, we saw sales go up 35% during those, uh, that, that final month or so, which uh, really was, was incredible. So just wonderful, wonderful work across the board. I can tell this was great for Post Foods, and um, tell us how it was for you. I mean, this creative process of doing something that you love, which is singing. Yeah, we, we actually we were exposed to, to a reality, and we were able to put it to test with the with the Post Project that uh, we were coming from uh, as, as you know humanity itself. We were coming from a very difficult era, you know, a lot of stress, um, just <laughs> the crash of the market, everything just. This whole depression, we were going through a very tough era. And uh, the law of attraction is something that's very effective. People were needing to, to disconnect. People were needing to, to definitely feel some sort of relief. And, uh, and I think that that's what we, uh, we wanted to, to give people when we sat down and we did this party. You know, the song starts saying, wake up, smile at life, relax, everything's going to be all right. Everything's gonna be okay, and and constantly, you know, when we were doing the phone calls, we're like, what, what's the song gonna be about? But like this, you know, it was a team effort, and the people are constantly told what to do and how to do it. And this song just focused on not telling them anything, just just telling them that for for once, just sit down during breakfast, put the iPad away, put the cell phone away, just relax, and you know, let let this. Positive energy come in, start the day off with a smile, say I love you to your family, you know, share time with them. You know, it was actually, yeah, and it resulted, the result was very positive and very effective, even for us. You know, we started doing the song in our concerts and people started liking that, that little moment to disconnect and forget about the problems, forget about everything. Uh, I, think, I think a big era is coming up now of spiritual awareness and, uh, and we're all conscious about it. So I think that anything that goes down that road and connects uh, uh, with that spiritual awareness and that positive flow of energy that we all need in our lives on a day-to-day -day basis, I think that, you know, it's, it's hit, hitting home plate. Tony, I understand Post Foods hadn't done anything like that before, either with a Hispanic celebrity or non-Hispanic. Um, why take a dive in this market? I mean, what made you take this decision? Well, I mean, I think we saw the potential, and um, it, it was, frankly, a little bit risky to put a, a, a Hispanic star on four million of our boxes of cereal while we do uh, over-index with, with Hispanics, with certainly not the majority of our sales, and um, so that was one of, I think, the, the considerations that we had as we went into this was, you know, how do we uh, put this guy on, on the box and, and communicate this? Yeah, you have to do and and make and, and make people excited about the potential to win this when some of them uh, didn't know who, who he was, um, and so we found a way I think to package that up very nicely um, on on the box where those who did know Juan Carlos were you know overwhelmed with excitement to try and win this and bought tons of boxes and and, and that was great, and those who didn't um, you know were were excited by the potential to win this trip to to Miami. Um, and to, to go to this, uh, this, you know, a private concert with anybody would, would be great. So it was an interesting challenge from that standpoint, but, you know, it, it was one where I think that we, we saw early on that the potential upside, uh, given the fit that, that the brand and Juan Carlos have, um, as well as the over-index that our cereal has with Hispanics, it was well worth, you know, uh, taking, taking those, uh, those chances. And when you, when you mentioned race, did, did it ever occur to you, like, the many, many cases in which famous sports stars or, or, or other famous people just get into trouble and it's like, shoot, he's yeah. not my story. I mean, he looks like he behaves. He did. He did. You never know, he's 23. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, it, did, uh, it did enter our minds, it was a consideration, but um, we did our homework and, um, you know, I think... Uh, Thanks for believing in it. Yes, we had a good, good judge of character. You can make that look even closer. Your dad is here, tell me. <laughs> participate.
So this was a huge part of our uh, of our plan uh, this past year, um, and and we will continue to invest in uh, the Hispanic opportunity for years to come. We've been in this market for a while, um, as I've mentioned a couple times. We over index significantly with Hispanics. The cereal happens to be a, a great fit for for the Hispanic palate, um, and I think that sense of optimism and positivity is also a great fit. So um, we continue to be committed to the Hispanic. More behind the Hispanic opportunity. Can I ask you what was the percentage uh, of your marketing budget? I prefer to maybe market. not go that far, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but let's just say it's, it's not it's, disgustingly it's, low. Like it's, no, no, and I think it's I think it's a what's important is that it's it's a growing percentage, <laughs> and, um, and and that really I think will continue over time. Very important to us. Great. And my question to Giancarlo, and it's a non-business question. Okay. Uh oh. Um, and actually not related at all to this area. You took to, 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 to Twitter very recently to announce the world that you're going to be a dad. Oh, yeah. You did it on Twitter, so congratulations.